I'm a little bit at a loss for something to say right now. As we all know, uh, something really horrible happened over the weekend. Uh, specifically, in uh, Tucson, Arizona, a uh, United States Congresswoman, uh, whose name unfortunately has slipped my mind right now, uh, she, as well as several of her supporters, uh, were shot by uh, by a deranged gunman at a political rally, uh, a sort of beat and greet, specifically. A lot is not known right now about uh, the particulars of it, except that um, the congresswoman was a, was a Democrat representative who uh, was uh, not very popular with uh, American conservatives because, among other things, she supported public health care when Barack Obama tried to bring that in. And I'll elaborate that a little bit in a minute. Uh, at this time, the congresswoman is alive, barely, after getting shot through the head at point-blank range. However, a federal judge, a nine-year-old girl, and uh, I believe four others at this time have lost their lives. And there's no end to the fury over this. I should stress, for the sake of fairness, that right now the political motives or motives of any kind behind the attack are not known right now. However, uh, there is plenty of blame to go around pointing fingers at the Tea Party, particularly Sarah Palin and many people like her, because, let's face it, for the last few years they've been saying things like... Uh, Everyone, everyone who's even vaguely liberal is a socialist and a traitor, and they've been bringing loaded weapons to every political rally they've come across. They've been carrying signs to the effect of, uh, don't be afraid, reload. They've basically been doing everything but flat out declare non-conservatives in America to be public enemy number one to the point of almost declaring a war. I mean, let's not forget there are some... Um, Tea Party candidates who actually threatened to overthrow America by force if they lost the election. And let's not forget, let's not kid ourselves, they did. It was mostly mainstream, mainstream Republicans that won, despite what Fox News and people like them claim. Uh, where it gets particularly chilling is that during that same election, Sarah Palin uh, took it upon herself to put out a hit list of... Uh, United States Congress people and senators who vote for public health care, using a graphic uh, that well looks like the gun sight of a sniper, and guess who happened to be on that hit list? This same woman who got shot. So to be honest with you, even if this gunman was in no way related to the Tea Party, and I definitely acknowledge that's a possibility, you'd have to be an idiot not to think that. He might have gotten the idea in his head because of the Tea Party. I mean, it's like nobody ever thinks before they speak anymore. And, God, do I see that all the time on YouTube alone. I mean, people don't seem to realize that if they say things like, if you aren't right-wing, you should be rounded up, shot, or deported, or uh, that you deserve to die because you're a liberal and agnostic, etc., as people have personally told me. It never seems to occur to people that even though they might be saying that this is a figure of speech, somebody else could be watching this and taking it literally. And now we're seeing the results of that. To be fair, there is plenty of this on both sides, and I acknowledge I probably contributed to it a couple of times. But... To my recollection, I have never actually said anything to the effect of the far right wing should be rounded up and executed. I certainly never said anything about them being murdered in cold blood in public with complete disregard for who might be around. I've certainly never advocated killing children just for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. But, I mean, it just astonishes me how clueless some people are that this bile and rhetoric is doing so much harm in North America alone. I mean, as I said, if even if this guy had nothing to do with the Tea Party, and was not conservative or even politically active in the conventional sense of the word, 
you got to take responsibility for what we say now. I mean, at the very least, this sort of bullshit about uh, taking back America for the so-called true patriot conservative or anybody else for that matter, it's wearing thin. It, I, at the very least, it's childish as hell. I mean, I work with grade schoolers who are more mature than some of these guys. That should tell you a hell of a lot. I mean, we got to clean this up before more kids die, before more people die just for just for voting and believing in and being nice to other human beings. Why is that a crime? Enough is enough. When's this going to end?